Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video on how you can use Canva and the walkthrough in Canva. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And this is Rosin from RC Design Solutions and I want to help you understand Canva a little better. So if you don't know, Canva is a graphic design platform where it's used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, and a numerous of other things. And with Canva, it's a it does not have a learning curve, too much of a learning curve, so you are able to use it right away. You know, on the flip side, there's a lot of other platforms that it's difficult for you to use because they have such a high learning curve. And Canva does not have that, so that's why I love Canva. So with this um, video, let's get started. All right, so this is the dashboard. So you would go to canva.com and you would um, log in or you would create a, um, a username and password if you don't already have Canva. And there's two options in Canva. You can get the pro account or you can get the free account. I have the paid version. Um, oh, I thought I would have showed it here, but yes, I have the Canva pro version. It's up to you, but I would advise to get the pro version because with the pro version, there's so much stuff that you get that you do not get with the free version. Okay, so now this is the dashboard. So this is the home page. When you click it, you know, it brings you here, the home page. Templates, these are different templates that Canva has already in stock on their system where you can use them. Features is all the features that they have and learn and if you don't know how to use canva you can also learn how to use canva within canva so there's a get it started with canva there's a design with canva so there's all of these little courses and tutorials that show you how to use canva if you don't know how to use canva and right here on this left hand side this is recommended for you so this is normally whatever you use the most it will recommend it to you this is all of your designs that you ever created in canva this is files that's shared with you. And brand kit is when you want to, well, the, the very good thing about Canva is let's say you have a brand, you have a business, and you want all the items that you create, you want them all to be the same colors. Everything that you create, you want it to be the same colors and the same fonts. And with Canva, you can do that. So you can have your own brand colors and your own brand fonts, and you can have multiple. They did not have this before, but there's a new feature in Canva where you can have multiple brands within Canva. And having a brand, having this brand kit here is very awesome because, like I said, if you have a business and you want all your stuff to be the same color, like let's say, for example, Target, their brand colors is white and red. So everything Target would do, theirs would be white and red that's what it would that's what would go here and same thing for other brands like mcdonald's would be red and orange i'm sorry red and yellow here for mcdonald's so that's what the brand kit is content planner is a new feature that canva had rolled out a couple of months ago and in the content planner you can um create your content inside of canva and you can plan it so as you see i have this post that's set to publish and i have this also that's set to publish so pretty much you can you know which the good thing is about you can create your content so i've came and you can just post it out instead of using another um posting scheduling software you can use canva and you can create your design and schedule it to post tomorrow next week a month from now etc so that's a very dope feature that Canva has. And you can also create a team inside of Canva. So let's say you have VAs. Let's say you have someone else that's, you know, assisting you within your Canva account. You can create a team inside of Canva over here. And this is all of your folders. So let's say you have folders. You want to put everything together. Let's say you have a folder just for stock images. You see I have one right here. So this is all sock images, and I just put them all in a folder so I can keep it organized. Okay, this is your trash. If you threw it, anything out, would go here. And this is your start stuff. So this is folders that start, and this is all of your likes. If you like stuff in Canva, you can just click the like, and it all saves here, all your likes. Okay, and for on this side, so let's go click on the home. So on this side, this shows your account information. 
right here account settings get help get the canva apps refer friends create a team private policy and sign out okay and right here you can create a design this is account settings this is rewards and this is the help center okay so and then all of these is is going to show you all the stuff that you created all of your designs your past recent stuff that you've been working on it's going to show it here okay so that is a video just to show you the dashboard you know that canva has to offer so now let's get started let's create a simple design in canva and how would you do this you can do this two ways you can either click on it here or you can go right here create a design actually in three ways or you can also search right here so let's say you search in um, Facebook post you see so you can go right here as well and you can open it a design in here as well so pretty much there's multiple ways for you to create a design in Canva but let's just go right here create a design and let's just pick an Instagram post Oh, actually, since we have this open, so here's other features that Canva has. You can create a custom size design in Canva as well. Like I also sell on Etsy, and for an example, Etsy, they want their post to be 2,000 by 2,000. And right here, if I'm creating something for Etsy, I can go here and go custom size, and I can just put in the 2,000 by 2000 and right here you just create a new design okay so you can do that which is awesome and and right here you can edit a picture you can click on to take a picture and you can edit it right inside of canva and right here they're still in beta but right here you can import a pdf file within canva you can import it and then you can also edit the pdf file as well but let's just go right here to create a design so let's do instagram post so now we have a blank screen so now we have a blank screen in canva and when you have a blank screen in canva you can either search through your templates so templates here and you can look through any template that you like or it breaks it down by categories for you so sports events coronavirus newsroom animated so it all it, it so the list goes on so you know if you're doing something in particular then you can just go here keep scrolling until you find what you want you know or if you want you can create something from scratch or you can just type it in here as well so let's say we're looking for a love okay a love template so you just type in type it in right here it gives you the, the suggestions all right or you can just click return on your keyboard and it all pops up so these are all templates so these are all templates you see it says love you know so pretty much it's going to have like a keyword whatever keyword you put here that's what it's going to show show up as since we put love so let's say we we put in graduation let's say Okay, see? So it pulls up with stuff about graduation. Okay, so let's, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to create a post, and I'm going to show you how you can edit a post to make it your own. Let's click on this one, let's say. So first, we're going to edit a, we're going to edit a template that Canva has already. Okay, so this says happy graduation. Miranda. So, of course, if your name is not Miranda, then you would go right here and let's type in Rosalind. Okay. And we can change this. We can change the font. Let's say we don't like this font. We can go here and we can choose any font that we like. So, let's say we want this one. Okay. So that becomes a little bigger. And let's say we want it smaller, you would just go here and you would just decrease the size. 
or you can just type it in. So it's 54, let's just type in 50 on your keyboard and click enter and it makes it smaller, okay? And next, if we like, if we don't like this color, you would go here, click the A, it says text color. We would change the text color to, let's say this color, blue, okay? And the happy graduation, same thing. You can go right here and you can change the font if you don't like it. So let's choose this font. We can do that. And let's say you see how this is all the words are spaced in together. If you would want to remove this, uh, put a little bit more space between the words, we can go here, spacing, and you will go to letter spacing. And notice how when I move this to the right, notice how the words are going to be spaced out. The letters. Do you see that? So now it's spaced out. Okay. And let's say you did a mistake and you didn't like that. You want to go back. Just simply do this. And it goes right back. Okay. And now let's say we don't like this right here. We can just click delete. There's two as you can click delete. You can click delete right here, or you can click delete on your keyboard. So let's do it right here. Let's delete. Simple as that. And now it's removed. Let's say we also don't like this. Or let's say, you know what? We want to change this color to match this. So we would click on the, on the element, go right here, and we're going to do it blue as well. So now this is blue. If you look closely, it's blue. And here's there's an image. So let's say we don't like this image right here. We There's two things. You can either delete the image and put your own image, which most likely you would if it's, you know, if it's for you. You would, you could click at, you could edit the image. You could add brightness to it. You can, you know, make it black or white like this, or you can simply just delete the image. And same thing, you can click delete right here, or you can just de do delete on your keyboard. So let's do it right here, okay? And now if you would like to search for an image, you would go to photos, and let's type in graduating but let's say we want her so you would just click it and we will put her here and of course if she's too big we can size her down and this was in the middle before if we want we can put her in the corner right here if we want so this is how we would edit it and then right here, let's say we don't like this. And behind, you can either also click delete or we can change the color. So let me put it back and you can click the color right here. And let's say we want it to be blue as well. Okay. And if you want, you can move her, you know, you can do whatever you want to it. Okay, and let's say, you know, you like this and you want to keep this so we can, but let's say we want to, this whole background, this burning background to be a different color, just same thing, you would go here, let's do it black. Okay, so you see how that is, and once again, and you can just click the undo button if you did a mistake, just like that. So this is how you would edit a template and you can, you know, happy graduation, we can add day, happy graduation day, exclamation mark. So that's how you would edit a template. You would just create it your own way. You'll just add your own images and whatever you want to add. But let's say, well, actually, no, I'll do it in the next example. So this example was how you would add how you would edit a previous template. So let's do add page. So if you want to add another page in Canva, just click add page. 
And once you do add page, it's automatically going to populate with the background image color that you had previously. So now let's switch this to white. So now, so now we have a blank. So let's say we want to create a poster. Let's, well, not a poster, but let's say we want to create a a quote, right? Okay. So let's say we, we want it to be a white background and let's say we want it to be a quote. So we would just go to elements and elements. It is amazing. There is so many stuff in elements that you are going to go crazy. So many things, right? But let's type quote or like quotation marks. Because we're doing a, oh. Because we're going to do a quote for Instagram. So, and you see all of these. So, here's the thing. Where you see this little symbol, pro means you have the pro account. So, therefore, if you have a free account in Canva, you would not be able to use this. So, if you have a free account, the only thing that you would, that you would be able to use would be the free. So, let's, for the demonstration of this, let's just use, use any one. Okay, let's do this one, right? Okay, so notice this, because it's white and it's on a white background, we have to change the color of this. So let's say we want it to be pink, okay? So we would go here and notice these little purple marks. The little purple marks on the screen shows you, um, it, it wants to keep you in margin. That's why these little purple marks are there, okay? So let's say we have a quote. And now if you want to add a text, you would go to the text and you would pick from you would pick from the text that's here or you can just um but because I have a account already, this is my brand my brand font, so it populates automatically by itself. But if you don't have a brand font, then you will have more other fonts that's listed there. Okay, give me one quick second. Looks like my laptop is dying. Give me a quick second so I can charge this. All right, I'm back. Okay, so now let's go to text. So let's add a text. Just wanna make sure it's charging. Okay, so let's add a text. And if you want to make something bigger, you can just drag this right here or you can just go right here and you can just decrease or add and right here as well you can find all the fonts right here you can click canva has thousands and thousands of fonts that you can choose from and you can also up upload your own font so you see this is a upload font. so these are fonts i purchased from other websites and i uploaded my own fonts into canva which you can do that as well you can upload your own font so right here, let's type a quote, let's say. Let's say every day is a miracle. Okay, so we can do, do it like that. So we can make this smaller, no. make this smaller and this right here and we can just every day okay and we can just make this bigger and once you see that purple line that means it's in the middle it's centered 
every day is a miracle and let's say because it's an instagram post you want to put your your username right here you can just go to i'm sorry you can just go to add another text and when it does that you just have to okay and right here at let's say um at Roslyn C or let's say at pretty girl okay and if you want you can just put a um like a dash like that so this pretty much would be a social media a very plain one but this could be just like a quote now you do we can put the quote in the corner like this we can move this up like this if we want we can actually create another this and you would go right here you see where it says duplicate so we would click that and it's going to duplicate it you see how it's two quotations and we can put this here so this we would flip you would flip it because quotes is this way and then this is the end to you know start quote and to end quote so and then this we can move over at pretty girl we can make it a little bigger so this can be a quote for social media so this is how to create a simple quote well a simple um instagram post in canva so but now let's go through the dashboard because the first dashboard was just the home screen dashboard and now there's dashboards here and i want to show you guys exactly what all of these do okay let's just go to add page and okay so right here is where you would go to if you're looking for templates you'll just type it in here okay elements is where you can get shapes so this is where you would go here and you'll just type in what you're looking for we can type in um rectangle okay and that pops up you can type in stars comes up with a whole bunch of stars okay so and once again you see where it says the pro and there's some that's free and this says free so you can use that if you have a free account upload is if you want to upload something so you can upload me you can just click on here and you can just upload something and bring it into canva and then you can go into facebook if you want to upload something you could take something from your google drive to upload your Instagram and your Dropbox. You just have to connect all of these. And you can record yourself in Canva as well, which is a very good option. And images is also, these are all the things I had I have uploaded into Canva. So, okay. So all your uploads would be here. And if you upload videos, it would go here and if you upload an audio it would go here so photos is where we went and you would just type in any photo you can just type in flat lay laptop and you see all of these pop up and if you want you can also go by color so let's say we want um let's say we want pink well, let's say we want a businesswoman, right? We can just type in businesswoman. And that's going to come up. So businesswoman, and then let's say pink. We want her to be wearing pink or something. So if you notice, you know, other pink stuff come up. But, you know, this, she has a pink thing on. So, and pink. So you can also search by colors here as well, too. So if you want... So if your brand is orange, then you can just click orange and it's going to show you, you know, different stuff that's an orange. 
so you can pick this as a border so that's what the photos so which is very cool because you can go by color and text we went to so this is your header this is your subheader and this is your um, body text recently used and then font and then with camera they give you a font combination so let's say you don't know which fonts go together because the thing with business is there are like three three types of fonts the sans serif um i forgot the three but there are three kinds of fonts so pretty much it um puts it all together for you some of them it, it pairs the font together because some fonts look better with others and some fonts don't look better with us so it pairs it for you gives you the option and you'll just click on any one of these so let's say we pick this it goes right on your screen and if you want to see the different fonts you would just go here so this is railway it says right here this is where the font is and this is playfair script so and then you would know those two go together those two fonts go together styles so right here is where your brand kit is and it shows you all your brand kit colors and these are other colors these are brand colors or colors together that canva put for you so you can use, so let's say you don't know what color you want to do your font so you can use these actually and they actually they give you font colors and they give you fonts I'm sorry, they give you colors and they give you fonts that go together, which is very good. So pretty much they take the guessing out for you. They take the hard work out for you. So you can pick some of these colors. You can just pick all the colors that they provide. It's all up to you, whatever color you would like to choose. So this is a very good option. Background, they give you a lot of different kind of backgrounds. So landscaping, patterns, gradients, abstract, food, textures, flowers. So whatever background you're looking for, you might, you can just put it here. So let's say we want to do a gradient is like the mixture like of two colors. Let's say we pick this one. So that's how you would get that gradient background. Or you can also mix colors as well. Okay, or let's say you're looking for, you know, landscaping, and if you want more, you would just click right here, see all. See all, it would show you all of the images. So this is pretty nice. So you would do it like that. Okay, so that's for the background, and you can just click that for any background, for anything. Okay, let's say you want a flower one. okay and stock image oh so after the background it gives you all of oh, it's it's so many you know right here right so pretty much with these whatever you use in the past that's going to pop up here so that's why i had so many different stuff you saw me clicking xxx so everybody's will be different okay so these are all stuff these are all folders that i have opened so that's why all of these here but you won't have all of these things here okay so let's go down. I have so many folders open in Canva. So now they have a logo folder. So if you want, you can upload your logo and keep it here. So anytime you're creating something, you need your logo, you'll just go to your logo folder and your logo would pop up here and you just insert your logo into your document. Folders is the folders that you created. So these are folders that I created on my on my own. So if you're new to Canva, yours is going to be blank. It will be say create new. But for me, I have all these folders already. That's why it's such a long list. Okay. And then there's these three dots right here. So you just click the three dots and it gives you other options. That's more stuff that's in Canva. So you would have, so there's apps that Canva is integrated with. So Pexos is, when you click on it, it pretty much has stock images. 
And stock images come in very handy when you're doing social media graphics or whatever you're doing. Stock photos come in very handy. So let's say we pick this one. See how we put it on here? So let's say we delete this background that's behind it. And we pick this. Here's a trick for you to make this take up the whole background. Just click right here, copy. And it takes up the whole, and you just delete this part. And you take up the whole thing okay and let's say this right here let's say you like this but it's too dark that you want it to be lighter like so you would just click the transparency okay so you would click transparency and notice how the picture is becoming lighter so your words pop out more okay so your words pop out more and if you want to go back you can keep going all the way you see, you want it to be light, and this is the dark. So you go like this, where it just shows it just a little bit, or you can make it dark. So it's all up to you. So Pexels is that. So Pexels has images, stock images that you can use. And let's go back. And then Pixabay is the same thing. And same thing, you can type in what you want. So let's say we type in woman with kids. Okay, so you're gonna see. So it shows you kids, and then it probably would show you a person, a child, a woman with a child. Um, okay, woman with a child. Okay, so that's what that is. Okay, and embeds, emojis, Facebook, QR code, Google Maps. So pretty much they have a lot of stuff that they are associated with. Typeform, Dropbox, Instagram. So with Canva, they have so many other apps. Flickr, YouTube. So search and add YouTube videos to your designs if you like. Bitmoji. You know, so pretty much everything. So this is all of the other so this is this side of all of the icons I want to discuss. And now, so right here. So now let's go up here. So these, we didn't discuss these either. So if you go to home, that's going to bring you to the home screen. That very first screen that I saw, you saw my screen when I first saw the video. File let you know right here it would be the file name so whenever you're creating a design i'll suggest for you to name your design so you can either name your design here or you can just name it here either or so let's type in um this is a sample okay and right here it shows you the size of your post because every Every social media has its own size or whatever you're doing. Let's say, remember, I showed you the example of when I had did the 2000 by 2000. So this is just the size. You can go right here to create a new design. And these are, if you want to show the rulers, right here, you show the rulers. And if you want to show the guides, you would show the guide there. Okay. Show margins, you would show margins. So let's say you want to stay inside of the margins and see that. So you would do that and then show print bleed. And then if you want to save, Canva automatically saves your documents for you. So you'll be okay with that. If you want, you can click kicking save, but they also just um, save it for you. You can save this to a particular folder. Same thing I was saying. So let's say you have a folder that's just for Instagram, a folder just for Facebook. Or a folder just for flower images and your version history you can make a copy of this so you just click make a copy or you can just download this onto your computer or you can open it in your desktop app and this is to help resize is if you would like to resize something so let's say this is we have this now for um as a Instagram post right so let's say we want this to turn into Something else that's here, or you can just go to click show more. So it's going to show you all the options of what you, so we can change this into, let's say we change this into a logo. So you can definitely just click resize and whichever um, 
item you want, you will just click it and it's going to resize it for you automatically. So let's click on, let's say we want this to be a logo, right? You just click on logo. We, you can either click resize. So let's say you made a mistake and you don't want this to be an Instagram post and you automatically want it to be a logo, then you'll just click resize. But let's say you want it to be an Instagram post and a logo, just for example, and then you'll just click copy and resize. So right, so let's just do it copy and resize so you guys can see the two. Notice when I did that, it they both pop up. So it's both. So there's one, there's one that's going to be a the logo. It tells you right here, logo. So it's smaller. It, it may look the same, but it's smaller. And the Instagram post remains the same way. So if you look at it, so if we go up here, for you to see that it changed, you would go to resize and notice right here it says 500 by 500. That's the size of a logo. If we go back to the original one, if you click resize, it's going to be 1080 by 1080. So that's how you know that it changed over. And also it would show you right here as well. It's going to say what you change it over to. So just for example, let's do another one. Okay. So let's click on, okay, let's click resize. Let's click on something else. Let's make it into 2000 by 2000. Okay. So now we're going to click copy and resize again. And notice it pops up again here. And see, 2000 by 2000, and notice it is bigger because right here, even the laptop is not even fitting the entire screen. And versus here, oh, actually, I think they all didn't fit the entire screen, but you get the point because right here, again, it says 2000 by 2000. It shows you this one is 500 by 500, which you can check here. Okay, so now let's go back to the original one. So that's what the resize does. So this resize is a lifesaver, if, especially if you're cross-promoting between pages. So let's say you're cross-promoting between your Instagram and your Facebook and your Pinterest, let's say. Then it comes in super handy. Okay, so that's what the resize tool. And this, we spoke about this. This is for undo, and this is if you're going forward. So undo and redo. And right here is where you would name your item test. Okay. And right here is share. So if you want to share this link with someone, then you would go, you would click the share and you would type in the person's name. And they can either view it and they can edit it if you like. So it gives you three options. Share a link to edit. So if I sh put someone's email there and I have this selected, that means the person I'm sending this to, this to, this file, they're going to be able to edit it. But if I don't want them to edit it, I can share a link to use as a template. And then if I share the link to you as a template, that means the person that's receiving it, they will not be able to change anything they can well they can change but they won't change your original design your original copy so once the once you go copy link there you're going to get a link and you're and you're going to send that link to the person and they will be able to edit it on their side but they will not be able to edit your original copy because when you send um, use as a template, the person is going to receive it as a template, like a copy. So they will not be able to use your your original design. And right here, you can just share a link for the person to view where they can't edit anything. They can just view it. Okay. And if you want, okay, so now let's do this. So let's send it to, let's send it to my other. Already same 2007 sent it to I'm sent it to myself, but it says I'm already the owner, so I can't it won't let me do it. Um, actually, let me do it my other way. So 
So, and you see how it gives it options, can view, can edit. So let's say the person can view it. So I'm going to send that. Okay. And then we'll check. Okay. Looks like I received the email. I'm going to pause this. So you guys don't see my email stuff. Give me a second. Actually, I do not remember the password for that email. So, but you guys would get, the, once you do it, then you would understand. You can test it with someone to see. Okay, so that's the three options they give you. A, sh a share a link so the person can edit. Share a link to use as a template where they won't be able to use your original, but they can make edits on their own. And a share link for them to just view it. And right here is the download. So let's say we want to download this, you know, and we want to post it on Instagram. So you just go download and it gives you the options. PNG, if you're doing like a photo or image, then you would download it as a PNG file but or JPEG. But let's say we are doing like a, let's say like a workbook or a worksheet, then we would print it. We have, we would have it as pdf print so we would save this as a pdf print and when you do that it's going to show up as a pdf document and you can choose which pages you want so this is highlights all three pages but let's say we only want pages one and two you can just do one and two just click done and it's going to download this as a pdf print let's say you're doing an svg let's say you did like a like a nice image for SVG, you would just click SVG and it's going to save it as an SVG file. It's so apparent, it's just, like, it's just a sharp vector graphic at any size. So it's just like a sharp image. And let's say you're doing like a video, like an animated video, you would just save it as an MP4 video. Or let's say you're doing it as a GIF, you can create GIFs in Canva, you would just download it as that so whatever you're whatever you're downloading you would know what you what you're download what you would want to download it as a png is you know most likely if you're doing like a facebook or instagram post you would definitely do it as a png a download but if you're doing like a document then it would be a pdf file so that's the different ways and transparent background and this is if, let's say you're doing a logo, right? And you want the logo to be transparent where you can post it on anything without a background. You would just click transparent background in this file. So this right here, a gift just for you would be on a um, transparent background. You'll be able to place it anywhere because the background will be clear. Pretty much it would have no background. So this works for um, for logos mostly for logos or if you're doing something else like let's say you know like a t-shirt you're designing a t-shirt inside of canva and the image that you put on the t-shirt you don't want the background to be on all the t-shirts and you would just go transparent background and your image would just be your image and it will be no background okay and right here you can select which pages you want like i said that's what that does and you would just go to download Mm hmm that's that and these three dots is how if you would like to publish something same thing as before if you want you can download it right here is where you would schedule something into Instagram so let's say I want to schedule this into Instagram then I would just click on so today is the 21st I can just click and let's say I wanted to publish at 5 o'clock or 528 let's do 5 o'clock p.m. Or AM you would just let to PM you would just do click next you would select your channel meaning where you want it but pretty much it would be your Instagram business account so you would click your Instagram business account right here okay and then you would just go it, 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 you, you would pick which of the pages you want to post with Instagram you cannot post multiple um, pages yet you can only paste you can only do one page at a time so let's do this right here let's do page let's say we want page two and right here you write your caption hi there whatever your caption is 
da 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 and you would put your hashtag you can put your hashtags as well you know as well women you know make money etc and then you would just click on schedule post and it would post it today at 5 p.m on your instagram business account so that's how that works okay and if you want to share a link so this like this what i'm doing has its own link so you just click copy and you just share this with with the person and the person can view it so if you want like a person to just view something real quick copy this link and send them this link and they'll be able to see this well all three of these pages okay that's that and you can present inside of canva if you're doing like a, a webinar or presentation you can present right here share you can present and record you can share to your instagram bin which i was just telling you your facebook page your twitter account your email facebook group google drive these all of these you can share pinterest so all of these things that canva has to offer and let's say you want to print something canva has an option where you can print stuff you can print hoodies t-shirts hoodies t-shirts sweatshirts banners from canva you can do business cards um you can do canvases canvas squares you can print out posters flies they can print them out for you you would just whatever you created you would just click on that and they they will just charge whatever fee they're charging you and that's it and you would get in the mail so there's all these things that you can have printed out in canva stickers wow i didn't even know they did this yard signs so that's pretty much all the dashboards you know that's literally all the dashboards so we went through the home dashboard we went through this dashboard we went through this dashboard and so here are other features that canva so let's say you have a question you would go there let's say you want to do a full screen you would click here and right here is a grid view of all of your your post so if we click this it shows you in grid view so it shows you all the stuff that you have sometimes when i'm doing workbooks it'll be 30 pages you'll see all 30 pages here right now we only have three so and from here you can go right here you can go to you can add a page you see i duplicated that you we can duplicate it or we can just delete so let's delete that page okay and if you want to click back into the other view just double click and we go back to this to this view and you can also close this out so let's say we close it out okay so like i said so you can see the grid view this is the regular view of all three pages right here you can zoom in we can go like this or we can go like this so like this or like this so it all depends on you when you're working how you want this to be if you want to be able to see everything closely etc okay and i believe and there's a section here you can click notes if you want you can type in notes so let's say you're creating something and you want notes and you can just create the notes and you would see it and the, let's say if you're presenting something then you would just see the notes that's just for your view not for the people that's viewing it okay that's the note section okay let's make this a little small this is so big okay so i believe that was all for um for down here let me see if i missed anything oh and right here maybe i missed this the charts there's different kind of charts that they have so you were so you know let's say you want this the, a circle chart a line graph so that's all there and i believe we went through the styles we went through the background charts let's see what else if we were missing something 
Mm, I think that's all. Yeah, I believe that is all. So pretty much that's just how you, that's pretty much the breakdown of Canva. And if you want to add stuff in your, and let's say you want to delete a page. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't do this. So add a page, you can click it right here. If you want to delete a page, you can click it right here. If you want to duplicate this page or this page, whatever page, we can just click that. It's going to be two. Two, two pages we can move this up so let's say we want this first right we can move this up so now this becomes number one and this is number two let's say if we want this to be down move down okay and right here you can um, name the title so let's say the graduation post Okay, page one, and we can have this is Instagram, Instagram quote. Okay, so pretty much, and you just keep going down, and you just name all the pages that you have. Um, and then, oh, here's another thing I just realized. Right here, you can animate any image any image and any element so let's say we go here we click animate so it's going to show you you could do a whole page animation where this whole page is animated or you can just have one thing animate so let's say we do the whole page right so you just click on the stuff you see so you would just choose which one you like. Okay, so this is all. So now let's say we want one item um, to be animated. So let's say we do the, let's say we just click the photo, right? So you see how, so right now there's page animation, there's photo animation. So let's say I want just a photo. You see how the photo just tumbled in? Okay, you see how the photo is sliding in. Okay, so you can do that, and you can edit an image. And we actually didn't even go through this the background remover. So, a background remover is let's say you have an, a page and you want to remove the background. I don't know if this would work because it's an actual image, but let's click background remover. Let's see what happens. So if you want to remove a background off of an image, that's what you would do. You would just click background remover and it would remove the image, but it might not work for this, but I'm gonna give you another example. Well, this it removed it half, but Let's do a better example. So let's go to a photo that has a background. Okay, let's go to a photo that has a background. Okay, let's take this one for example. Okay, okay. So you would click on it, you would go to edit image, and you would do background BG remover which stands for background remove. Okay. And now it's going to remove the background. You see? So that's how the background removal works. So now she, there's no background behind her. Before and after. Before and after. So that's how the background removal works. And then you can adjust, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, saturation, you can add filters. There's so many things that you can do. You can do shadows, angles, frames. So there's a lot of different stuff that you can do inside of Canva. But this was, I just wanted to show you the main stuff in Canva that you would need to keep, to keep, you know, to go forward but like these like the shadows the drop shadows these are just extra bonuses like the frames 
I'll probably do a separate video just to show all of these things. But I just wanted to do a video to show you the main features inside of Canva. All right, so I hope you enjoyed something today with this video. So we went through, let's recap. We went through how you can edit a template that Canva has to offer. Just go to the templates, take a template, and you can edit it, change anything that you want, change the images, change the background color, change this, remove this, blah, 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 change the font. And then we also did one from scratch. We pulled in the element, we put in text, and we also selected a photo, and we also removed the background image. And we went through all of these dashboards. So thank you so much again for tuning into this video. I hope you learned something. And please, if there's anything that I miss or anything that you want to learn more in Canva, please comment down in the section and I will do my best to create a video just for you explaining what you want me to explain in any other video. But I hope you learned so much in this video. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time and your patience. This video was long, but this was a complete walkthrough and Canva to show you how to use Canva and all of the dashboards and what everything means. Thank you so much again for tuning in and I'll definitely see you guys in another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.